section 108 vaisampayana said thus asked the tiger among munis then answered those rishis of ascetic wealth whom shall i blame for this in fact none else than my own self hath offended against me after this o monarch the officers of justice seeing him alive informed the king of it the later hearing what they said consulted with his advisers and came to the place and began to pacify the rishi fixed on the stake and the king said o thou best of rishis i have offended against thee in ignorance i beseech thee to pardon me for the same it behoveth thee not to be angry with me thus addressed by the king the muni was pacified and beholding him free from wrath the king took him up with the stake in beaver to extract it from his body but not succeeding there him he cut it off at the point just outside the body the muni with a portion of the stake within his body walked about and in that state practiced the austerest of penances and conquered numberless regions unattainable by others and for the circumstances of a part of the stake being within his body he came to be known in the three worlds by the name of animan mandavya mandavya with the stake within and one day that brahmana acquainted with the highest truth of religion went on to the abode of the god of justice and beholding the god there seated on his throne the rishi reproached him and said what prey is that sinful act committed by me unconsciously for which i am bearing this punishment o oh, tell me soon and behold the power of my ascetism the god of justice thus questioned replied o thou of ascetic wealth a little insect was once pierced by thee on a blade of grass thou bearest now the consequence of the act o rishi as a gift however small multiplied in respect of its religious merits so a sinful act multiplied in respect of the vow it bring in its train on hearing this ani mandavya asked o oh, tell me truly when this act was committed by me told in reply by the god of justice <clears throat> that he had committed it when a child the rishi said that shall not be a sin which may be done by a child up to the 12th year of his age from birth the scriptures shall not recognize it as sinful the punishment thou hast inflicted on me for such a venial offense had been disproportionate in severity the killing of a brahmana involves a sin that is heavier than the killing of any other living being thou shall therefore o god of justice have to be born among men even in the sudra order and from this day i establish this limit in respect of the consequence of acts that an act shall not be sinful when committed by one below the age of 14 but when committed by one age one above that age it shall be regarded as sin by some payana continued cursed for this fault by that illustrious rishi the god of the justice had his birth as vidura in the sudra order and vidura was well posted up in the doctrines of morality and also politics and worldly profit and he was entirely free from covetousness and wrath possessed of great foresight and undisturbed tranquility of mind Vidura was ever devoted to the welfare of the Kurus. Thus ends the 108th section in the Sambhava Parva of the Hadi Parva.